Yo, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing good. In today's video, we're going to be showing you a tutorial on how to get rainbow window tint and how to do a lot of other cool things with the windows as well. So jumping straight into it, this is how most people usually tint their windows. You just go into the window tint section in the paint menu and as you can see, you can change the color. You can make it more bright or more dark and more saturated or less saturated, so a stronger um, color or a more faded color. But what you can't do is then basically fade the whole thing. So if I want like a dark purple or a dark gray like this, but I want it kind of faded so that you can only see a little bit of it, you can't do that unfortunately. You can just make the uh, color more strong or you can make it um, brighter or darker. That's all you can do unfortunately. And there's no special effects like rainbow window tint, anything like that. Whereas if you head into the vinyl menu just here, then we can do loads of cool stuff for each individual window and just go crazy with it. Do rainbow window tint and lots more cool stuff. What you want to do is go and choose a sticker. This shape's definitely the best for the side windows. And then what you want to do is just make it a nice bright color so you can see what's going on. You can see what you're doing. Then you want to press the right thumbstick or whichever button is for you on PC or a PlayStation. But you can see it will tell you in the top right there which button to press and just make it so that the um, sticker appears on the windows and the car there's three settings just the window just the car and both then what you want to do is press the left trigger or the bottom left um, little button there to bring up the second menu then you can stretch the shape to a custom size and then sometimes with some cars you can do both windows with this one shape but on this car we can only do the um, you know front left window so what you want to do is just make it so that so that this um, sticker covers the whole window but it doesn't go onto another window and doesn't sort of, um, you know, go over where you want it to go. And then what you want to do is basically, um, well, whatever you want really, you can change it to chrome paint, you can change it to a matte paint, hologram if you want the rainbow window tint, and loads more cool stuff. So you can basically do any kind of effect, any color, and as you can see here, you actually have the ability to fade it any way you want. So you could have like a dark purple, um, rainbow window tint that's quite faded out. You could have a chrome, um, really strong, bright red. I mean, you can literally do anything you want. You could have matte white windows with a bit of, um, you know, craziness going on. You could have different windows, each window. But yeah, this is how you do it, basically. If you want to get a nice faded rainbow effect, make sure you've got on the um, hologram paint. I'm just going through the different options here. So you've got chrome, matte, hologram. Each of them have a different effect. If you want the rainbow window tint, definitely go for this here, the hologram uh, paint. And then just choose whichever color you want. Make it as bright and dark as you want. The color as strong or as faded as you want on the saturation. Then you can also fade it using the opacity. And then once you've done that, click the right thumbstick again to make it so that this time the sticker only appears on the window, nothing else. And then you've got a perfect window tint. Then all you've got to do is press the symmetry button, which for Xbox in the top right, as you can see, is the uh, Y button. And there you go. You've got a hologram faded red window tint on the driver's door and the passenger door window. And then now what you want to do is select this shape. Then you want to press the left trigger, press X to duplicate the sticker. Then press the window settings button, right um, fun stick for Xbox. Then make the shape appear on the car. Then you want to place it down. And then what you want to do is open up the second menu again, left trigger. Then you want to replace this sticker with the triangle right here. And it will keep the same sort of size and uh, color. And then all you've got to do is just reshape it, put it over that back window. And you've now got exactly the same color as the window next to it, except from, you know, you've got this window tinted perfectly. So yeah, like I said before, sometimes you can get away with just that one shape that we showed you a second ago. Um, doing both windows, but other cars you might need to do a triangle like here and the uh, shape that we just did before. But there you go, easy as that. We've got both side windows in this nice kind of faded dark red um, rainbow hologram tint. Then what you want to do is repeat that process again. So you want to duplicate this shape. Then you want to place it down. Go on the add control menu. Replace the sticker with this time this cool shape here looks like a bit of a weird shape and I was kind of wondering what they use this for but it's actually really useful for stuff like these windows 
and then all you want to do is just um, repeat the same steps that we've did before. So basically, um, you want to take the symmetry off, put it on the car so you can see what's happening, open up the add control menu, and then you can stretch out the shape. As you can see, you can make it taller, you can make it wider, and then same as before, you just want to make it so that this, um, this sticker covers the whole window, but it doesn't go onto any other windows and doesn't sort of um, yeah, overlap the other windows. And it's as simple as that really, just get it lined up so that it covers the window, doesn't go on any others. And then same as before, you want to click the right thumbstick or whichever button is for you in the top right there. And then just put it to just the window and nothing else. And there you go, simple as that. You've now got the side windows and the front window in this really cool special tint. And then you just want to repeat that process for the back windows basically. So yeah, same as before, you just want to duplicate that shape, make it a bit smaller make it so it appears on the whole car so you can see what you're doing reshape it again for the back window make it just appear on the window and boom there you go you've got every single window individually tinted in this really crazy sort of a hologram rainbow effect and then once you've done that here's where you can really go crazy with it and you can basically change every single individual window you can change the paint type of the effect so you've got basic metallic matte satin candy and obviously hologram they've each got their own sort of special look and um, yeah it's really cool once you've done that you can also change the colors so you could have every single window in a different tint if you wanted to and make like a kind of crazy multicolored window tint like a kind of um yeah you could have the front in red the back in green the left side in yellow the right side in blue and every single window you could do a different paint type a different fade and a different color and you can just basically do anything you want at all and just go completely crazy make like fully custom windows every single one individually and um, yeah just a really cool unique sort of uh, customization hack on a uh, car x and you can make some really cool stuff and when you're drifting around with the uh, hologram rainbow windows especially looks really cool you get this nice kind of prism you know reflection rainbow effect as you can see here when turning around the car but yeah that is pretty much it for this video really hope you enjoyed it Hope it uh, taught you something new and uh, you can start going crazy with your uh, windows and making some really cool designs and stuff. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Not just Car X but Forza Horizon 5 and Car X Streets coming up very soon. And it'd be interesting to see also some cool designs that people make with this uh, kind of like uh, customization hack. So yeah, be sure to join up our Discord. You can share tunes, photos and designs and get feedback. You can post in your best drifting clips for the top drift clips compilation video every week from subscribers. And loads more stuff. You can private message me and uh, chat about things as well. And other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you all again very soon. Peace.